have the Atari 2600. This is the Rainbow Edition. You can see here, okay, it was three main editions for the Atari 2600. The original Woody uh, with the wood panelling, the Darth Vader which was all black um, with the gills and this Atari 2600 with the Rainbow. It's still got the original plastic strip across here protecting it um, which hasn't been removed so that's what you can see here if you peeled that off you would have a brand new uh, panel on the Atari 2600 and it comes with the original joypad and the box um, sort of like a carry box there and um, if we open the, the box up we've still got the original uh, documentation that came with it and the 32 in 1 cartridge that came with it. Here's the Australian um, information about channel selection and the instructions for the 2600 cartridge, the owner's manual and a warranty certificate. So <coughs> if we plug in the cartridge and switch the baby on. There we go. And, whoops, cartridge didn't load properly there. Sometimes you've got to pull the cartridge out and put it back in again to make sure it's connected properly. And there we go. That's the first one maths game. And yeah, with this one I think you switch it by turning it on and off and it goes to the next game. There we've got 3D, probably tic-tac-toe, something like that. Switch it off again. There's another one. So yeah, so there's um, plenty of, of those sort of board games in that cartridge. Another thing I wanted to um, get into was... Sometimes the cartridges um, tend not to to work if they're a little bit dusty. Um, that's nothing to worry about because these things were built pretty solid um, and they're going to last forever really. It's just a case of sometimes giving them a clean if they don't work. I had a look at this Frogger one before and it wasn't working. So I thought this is a good opportunity to go over just what to do um, if your cartridge isn't showing up. Um, what I've got here is uh, just a little bit of metho and cotton bud and um, just going to open that up. Sorry, I've got a, two hands here. I don't have a tripod for the camera. So I've uh, got to open up this childproof lock with one hand. Let's see if I can manage that. Oops. Oh, yeah, there we go. Got that open. And going to pour the metho just a little bit in the cap. Just need a drop, a few drops. Whoops, there we go. Okay, so with the cartridge, these are called ROM cartridges, read only mem memory cartridges. And I'm just going to get the, uh, sorry, just going to get the cotton bud in there. See where the um, where the cartridge opens up. Oh, it's hard to get a view. Sorry. Um, anyway, just in the end there, there's these little the little copper um, just little co copper uh, pathways that connects into the unit. I'm just cleaning it now with the cotton pad on both sides. Um, sometimes these cartridges are sealed. Um, in which case you would have to open it up but the thing is okay it's had fairly fairly good clean in there um, the thing is though if they're sealed they tend to uh, not get as dusty anyway so and there we go there's Frogger so yeah um, as you could uh, as you could kind of see, sorry for the bad camera work there, um, just a little bit of metho and a cotton bud 
and um, you'll keep that Atari 2600 going, you know, pretty much forever. Um, yeah, it's a very solid unit. So, have fun, and I'm going to have a game of Frogger.